Hi, I'm Jaden Dee. Hi, I'm Parker Kent. Hi, I'm Star W. And our question for you is... How are we going to fix our healthcare problems? Bye! Bye. Our healthcare system is in crisis, and Albertans can't find medical care when they need it. As a result, more Albertans are being treated in hallways and on highways. Alberta's NDP has a plan, a plan to deliver better public health care and provide access to doctors to up to one million more Albertans. Our plan is built around family health teams. These will be teams of physicians and allied health professionals who will provide a wide array of medical services so Albertans can get medical care when and where they need it. This will improve health outcomes, take the pressure off our emergency rooms and lead to cost savings in our healthcare system in the long term. Working through these teams, we will deliver better public health care. To fix Alberta's health care system, we need to invest in areas that have been chronically underfunded, like mental health. In addition, we need to establish multidisciplinary clinics that can deliver better health outcomes at lower cost and we need to involve nurse practitioners. It's better to keep people healthy than to have them get sick. And it's cheaper too. That's why the Alberta Liberals would make a priority of preventative health care. In addition, we would hire and train more doctors, nurses, and health care professionals. And we'd work to keep them in the system by treating them with respect and giving them more support. These are all keys to the Alberta Liberals health care plan on how to deliver accessible, quality health care to Albertans. Hi, Briar Hill School. It's Danielle Smith here. Thanks so much for your question on health care. People across Canada are feeling concerns about health care. They want to know that the system is going to be there for them when they need it. That's why when I was first elected last fall, I took immediate action to work on getting better outcomes for Albertans. First of all, we signed a public health care guarantee. Under this public health care guarantee, the UCP is committed to all Albertans that under no circumstances will any Albertan ever have to pay out of pocket for access to their family doctor or to get the medical treatment that they need. But our continued focus is also going to be on ensuring every Albertan has access to a family doctor, shorter wait times for ambulance, and shorter emergency wait times, as well as shorter wait times for surgical services. We've already made great progress in the last seven months. Imagine what we'll do if we get four more years. Greer Hill School in Calgary, this is a big one. How's the Green Party of Alberta going to fix the healthcare system? Let's go. There's two things. We got proactive, we got reactive. Proactive is super important, no one's talking about it. Get people out of poverty. If you get people out of poverty, they're making better decisions, that includes better health decisions, that means they're taking care of themselves, they're eating better, they have higher capacity to deal with the issues in their lives. It means you're not paying for them later down the road when they run into problems. Get people out of poverty, give them a basic income, a safety net at the very basic level. Comprehensive health care, proactive solution. Comprehensive health care means mental health as a universal right. It means pharma care. It means physiotherapy. It means vision, dental, hearing. We have to deal with these things at the root cause instead of waiting for them to get terrible and then it becomes a draw on our system. So we have to do that. And then reactively, we need to collaborate right now with our health care and our public unions. We have to ensure that our healthcare workers are properly funded and that they're properly valued and then compensated. That brings people into our system. When you do that, you have less burnout because you they feel valued. That's super important. Furthermore, ensure that mental health is, is prioritized within the hospital system and for first responders. Don't let them burn out. We can't just hire, hire, hire. We need to make sure that it's a, a, a well-being system that everyone's coming into. And then on top of that, we need to create more function, more streamlining of services, fund the capacity of hospitals, and we can fix rural EMS issues if we geofence the rural uh, ambulances from going into the city and getting lost. We need to have more capacity in the city, and we need to ensure that rural EMS is uh, kept uh, in their zone so that when you call an ambulance, it can come and give you the uh, care that you need. All right, we ran out of time. Thanks so much. 
Well, first of all, the healthcare problems aren't easily fixed. It's going to take a long time to fix uh, some of the problems. But in the short term, there are some things we can do. So right now, we need to uh, double the amount of training spaces for all our allied health professionals, doctors, nurses, um, physician assistants, or whatever we can do to improve uh, access to those programs as quickly as possible. We need to... Um, work on getting residency spaces for doctors to be able to finish uh, their requirements so they can uh, practice. We need to um, create more efficient certain um, certification pathways for foreign trained medical workers in Alberta. We need to allow nurse practitioners and allied uh, all other allied health professionals uh, to get to, into the workforce as quickly as possible. And we need to do that by removing the barriers to practice that are in. In the long term, we, we certainly have to focus on prevention because keeping Albertans out of hospitals and acute care will certainly serve us um, in the future. And we also need to create uh, an Indigenous and uh, rural pre-med program to get more people involved. Um, and overall, we need to have a, a decentralization so that uh, decision-making happens more at a local level and that our resources are really uh, put to frontline workers. Hello, my name is Jeevan Manget, leader of the Wild Rose Independence Party of Alberta. I'm here to answer questions posed by our next leaders and generation, students of Alberta. The first question posed was how to fix the problems in the healthcare system. Well, this is a very complicated issue. We need to completely overhaul the current system and remodel into a semi-private or hybrid delivery. Albertans will be able to exercise the choice of purchasing additional private health care insurance to shorten wait times and improve the quality of our health care received. We need to address the level of bureaucracy entrenched in the system where management absorbs much of the funding. We need to allocate this funding to frontline workers. We need to permit non-profit organizations to own and manage hospitals to reduce cost of the healthcare system. Funding follows the patient. We do not need our system to collapse. We need it to remodify. Thank you.